I was reviewing um, the recursion relationship uh, for coefficients in the Legendre polynomials. And I like to review stuff and learn stuff off of YouTube. And to my uh, chagrin, um, I found a lot of uh, video lectures in Hindi and Tamil, which I don't speak. Uh, I found one explanation in English that basically zipped right through what was going on. So I decided to create a YouTube video to quickly explain how to handle the recursion relationship for coefficients in Legendre polynomials. We're going to be looking at the Legendre polynomials from 0 to 5. And basically what, what happens is that you're, you're solving the Laplace equation del squared of the potential equals 0 in spherical coordinates. So you've got your potential as a function of radius, polar angle theta, and azimuthal angle phi. So basically you have your potential uh, in this form. And you use it in this form because you want to use separation of variables for uh, solving this second order differential equation. So basically when all the dust settles, what you find is that the in spherical coordinates you get a, an equation um, that basically tells you how the angular, the angular value changes. Okay? But solving this differential equation uh, requires something called a Legendre polynomial. And it's a polynomial and a cosine of theta. So, you know, if you're already studying this, you're going to have exposure to this. And the purpose of this video is basically just to sort of walk you through the recursion relationship with the coefficients. Now you know that there's something called Rodriguez's formula, which is basically for the lth order Legendre polynomial. You do this, and you have your polynomial. And you can look in Wikipedia or other places, and you can basically get the table. So the first order Legendre polynomial is p of x is 1, the first order is x, second order is 1 half of 3x squared minus 1, and so on and so forth. And the first thing that you must see or should notice is that there's a pattern emerging. And that's basically that if you have an even order Legendre polynomial, you're basically going to have even powers um, on x, uh, even powers of the exponent on your terms. If you have an odd order polynomial, Legendre polynomial, you're going to have odd powers. Okay? Now, the recurrence relation formula basically looks like this. Well, first of all, here's your polynomial, and you already know from, from looking at the actual polynomials from order 0 to 5, that basically you skip, you stay either with the, the even powers or the, um, the odd powers. And the formula, the formula shortcut method, it's called the recursion relationship, says that the k plus tooth uh, x, um, coefficient is equal to the coefficient two spaces before it times this, where L is the order of your polynomial, and then K is basically from 0 to 1 to 2, whatever, that'll get you up to, you know, the end of this polynomial. So the polynomial basically, the highest term will be K. So this is, for example, this is a Kth order polynomial, but you know that whether, depending on whether K is even or odd, that'll tell you whether you're pulling in the terms with the odd exponents or the even exponents, okay? So L in this formula, in this recursion relationship formula for the coefficients for the Legendre polynomial, uh, K is the exponent and L is the order of the polynomial. So if you have, for example, and this is, so this is how you will solve this problem. You start, let's say, for, let's say we're looking at the uh, zero order poly, Legendre polynomial. So, you know, what's my a0, what's my a1, what's my a2, what's my a3, so I can build my polynomial. Well, if L is 0, all right, this is the L, this is the 0th order polynomial. We have our recursion formula. We plug in what L is, okay? And then we start. We'll start with k equals 0, then k equals 1, then k equals 2. But notice that when k equals L, that numerator goes to 0, Okay? And, I mean, in a sense here, technically, okay, this is the zeroth order polynomial, so you know that a sub zero, I mean, your polynomial p sub zero of x 
is going to be a zero. I mean, that's as high as you're going. To, that's as high as you're going to go. Your k, your k. If you look back at the polynomial, you know your k is your your. For example, this l, this l is k. Okay, this Legendre polynomial is of order k. But if we have the zeroth order, all these all these other terms vanish. So in this example, where we have the zeroth order. Apologies, I'm trying to focus in on this. Thank you. So we have the zeroth order Legendre polynomial, and then technically we know that p sub zero of x is a naught, and we can stop. But a naught doesn't help us, right? But we know that p of x equals one is one by definition. So then we say, okay, let's plug in one as x. And we know that equals a naught. Well, in this trivial case, well, maybe not so trivial, but a naught is one. So the zeroth order Legendre polynomial is p of x equals one. And lo and behold, that matches what we have from Wikipedia. Okay. So we proceed further now. And we say, okie dokie, let's look at L equals one. And that would be the first order Legendre polynomial. Well, L equals 1, that means A sub K of 2, our K plus tooth coefficient, is the coefficient two spaces before it times this. We're now, we're now L equals 1. Okay, so let's begin. K equals 0. Okay, we get, we get this formula here. We plug everything in. Okay. Um, but we, we just got A sub 2. Yet we have the first order Legendre polynomial. This is only going to go up to the a1 term, right? Remember how we set everything up. We said that the Legendre polynomial. Apologies here. Okay, this polynomial it goes up to l equals k. This is the, this is a kth order polynomial. This is the kth, kth order Legendre polynomial. So if we have if we have L equals one. We know we're, we're going to stop it at a one, right? In in this in this first order Legendre polynomial, we only go up to a one term. So, p of x is a naught plus a one x to the first power is. Um, yeah, it's a one x because because a a naught has to be zero, because this coefficient that we have to have, right? This is the first order. Legendre polynomial, we only go up to the to the k equals one. That's our max out. And then, if we had any any lower order terms with coefficients, they would be two, two positions earlier. But there is no two positions earlier, so a not a not's got to be zero. So p sub one of x is a one of x. Well, that doesn't help us because we don't know what a one is. But we do know that p of one is one by definition. So therefore, plug in x equals 1, we have a sub 1 of 1 equals 1, that means a sub 1 is 1. Plugging everything back in, our first order Legendre polynomial of x is x. And I can tell you that that's exactly what it says on Wikipedia. Okay? We'll do one more, we'll do one more example. Uh, so, this, so this video doesn't run too long. You know, let's say L equals 2. Let's say we want to find the second order Legendre polynomial. Okay, fantastic. L equals 2. So our recurrence relationship for the coefficients is a of k a sub k plus two is a sub k times this formula l is two okay so you plug that in and you say okay well let k equals zero and you know that this will be k equals zero because if l is two our maximum k will be two right so x squared will be the biggest term but then but then two terms before that will be k equals zero so a sub 2 is a sub 0 times plugging everything in gives us negative 3 a sub, sub 0, okay? So our Legendre polynomial, our second order Legendre polynomial is a naught minus a sub 2 x squared. And we already figured out what a sub 2 is, minus 3 a naught. So it's this. But this doesn't tell us what a naught is. However, we know that p of 1 is 1. So 1 equals this right, which equals this, 
and tra la la la, a equals minus a half. So you plug that back in, the second order Legendre polynomial is one half times quantity 3x squared minus 1. And you're done. Let's take a look at just one more, okay? We saw the evens. I mean, let's, let's, okay, so L equals 3. This will be the last one I do because I think you're getting the hang of this. It, uh, and it, the explanations that are given, first of all, 99.99% of them on YouTube are in Hindi or Tamil, and I don't speak either. And the one that I did find in English, this guy just basically zipped right through this material. Let's say we, we, L equals 3, so we're looking for a third order Legendre polynomial, right? So L equals 3, that means our recurrence relation formula for the coefficients. A sub k plus 2 is the coefficient two, two places before it times this, right? L is 3, start plugging stuff in. You first set k equals to 0, but then that means A sub 2 is 0 automatically because the third order Legendre polynomial will be of this form. There's no x squared, there's no x to the 0, right? The order of the polynomial gives you the maximum k, the maximum, the maximum exponent on x. So right off the bat, when you see this, you're done. It's 0. So now let k equals 1. Well, what does that do? It says a3 is a1 times this stuff here, which means a1 is negative 5 thirds a1. a3 is negative 5 thirds a1. You let k equals 2. And you, you shouldn't have done that because a4 is 0 automatically for the same reason as up above. There is no a sub 4 x to the 4th because this is a third order Legendre polynomial. It will stop here at k equals 3. k equals l equals 3. So you plug everything in and then you have this. You have the third order Legendre polynomial is equal to a sub 1 times this. And that's fine except we don't know what a sub 1 is. But we do know that if we let x equals 1, then p of 1 equals 1 by definition. And then we work our way to finding out that a sub 1 is minus 3 halves. You plug everything back in. And then the third order, Legendre polynomial, is this. So I've done this for equal, L equals 4 and L equals 5, but I'm going to stop here. I believe that you understand, or should understand by now, how this thing rocks. Um, if you find that other explanation on YouTube, um, the guy zips by pretty quick. And uh, that wasn't very helpful. And that's, that's why I've created this. So if you're, if you're using the recurrence relationship to find the coefficients of the Legendre polynomial, and you're trying to solve Laplace's equation, and you have separation of variables, and then you're looking at specifically solutions for this um, differential equation, this differential equation, the solutions to the, this differential equation are called Legendre polynomials, and they're in the variable cosine theta, et cetera, et cetera. So wherever you have an x, you have a cosine theta. That's basically it. Again, you could have used Rodriguez formula to crank all this stuff out, but you're dealing with factorials and, of course, elf order derivatives and powers and yada, 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 yada. And if you've got a simple, if you have a simple formula like this, or all you got to do is, you know, crank it out and you're done, then, you know, this is a lot easier. I hope this helps. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, best of luck in your studies.